So we heard from y'all that you like working with Hono. Hono, a web application framework, fast, lightweight, and built on web standards, supports any JavaScript runtime, so it also runs on Superbase Edge function, which is great. And y'all wanted an example with Superbase auth and querying uh, Superbase from your Hono applications. So let's have a look at how we can make that happen. We have a quick start guide here. Um, it's linked below as well. So let's just run through that. So we go to database.new. We'll create a new project name. We'll call it super duper Hono, maybe. So we can generate a password. Just make sure that um, when you generate a password, you copy it and you store it securely. And then I uh, am here in Singapore. I'll just choose the Southeast Asia region. And so now we got this um, up and running here, our project. So um, that is great. So next step, um, you know, we'd want to create some tables uh, and some things and then a policy. So while this is spinning up in the background, uh, let's go ahead and uh, set up our um, React application with Hono. So we can use the Superbase bootstrap um, command here to get the example pulled down. So we'll just say super duper Hono. And um, so we're downloading the example here now. So now that we have the demo um, pulled down, we can open it up in um, VS Code, for example, and we will need to run um, npm install here. So we're just installing the dependencies. You can see here we're using a Vit um, with um, the Hono V dev server. Uh, and so then here we have um, our, our Hono application, some middleware, we can see what that looks like. Um, uh, client, this is our, you know, client page. So what we can do is we can say, um, in the readme, we can see, we will need to run npm run dev, npm run dev. And then we will open up on localhost. Um, here we are. And yes, we need to configure um, our Superbase URL. Okay, I'm jumping ahead. Sorry. So let's do this now follow the steps. Um, so we need to configure um, our so super duper Hono is I think what I called it. There we are. Uh, and so we can just copy our um, dot env dot example file. And now we have our dot env file and then we need to copy the project URL. And our um, add on key. Fantastic. And so now um, we can go back here to our uh, dashboard, you see this is um, our project details are in here as well, but they are also in the docs. And now we just need to set up um, some tables here. So what we're doing is we're creating a country tables with some entries, and then we're enabling uh, role level security policies. Um, so let's run that. Okay, so now we can see we have our countries, we currently don't have any policies, but we do want to uh, enable here read access for um, authenticated users. So if we enable for Anon, then anyone can read it. But in our case, we want to limit it to uh, authenticated users. So let's do that here. Um, so instead of Anon, we'll say authenticated, I uh, think like this, and then we run that policy. Oh, yeah, it shouldn't be public. So authenticated, authenticated users can read. And so now if we go ahead, and we run this again, we can now see. Okay, here's our example. So currently, if we fetch, we see, okay, we're not locked in. 
And then if we go to get our countries, we see we don't get any um, details back. So we need to sign in. Now enable to do anonymous sign ins. We need to enable anonymous sign ins super duper. Um, oh no. So when we're allowing an uh, anonymous sign ins, we then need to save that um, configuration. And so we can now see countries. So now we have anonymous sign ins. Uh, so when we sign in, we can now see when we get the user details, we see we're locked in, uh, we see anonymous is true. But now because we have the authenticated role, we're getting our countries. Okay, so let's dive into the code to see how this works. So um, we have uh, a couple things here. So basically, at the heart of this is our um, middleware. So we have this auth middleware, which is using the Superbase SSR package. And specifically, we're using the create server client and the parse um, cookie headers. And then also we're just importing the type from Superbase JS. And then from the Hono package, we need the context, the middleware header. These are kind of our types, environment variables, and we want to set cookies. So we can see here we're declaring um, kind of our context variables. So we're adding kind of Superbase to the Hono context. Um, we have a method. So later on, this is just kind of a helper method to get um, our Superbase client. Here, yeah, Superbase client from the context, uh, we're getting our uh, environment variables, uh, in this case, kind of, you know, through the Vite. Uh, so these are publicly exposed later when you build your application. So make sure you're only using the Superbase anon key here with the Vite prefix. And then we are creating our Superbase middleware. Uh, and so the way we're creating our Superbase client is basically here, we need to get our variables first, and then we're creating this server client. And the server client, we need to specify um, the get all and set all for the cookies. So for getting the cookies, we can get um, the cookie header from, um, you know, the Hono request, the context request header, and then we pass the cookie header. So that's how we get all the cookies. And then for setting all the cookies, we're just, you know, getting the cookies to set and we're going through for each and we're setting the cookies with the Hono set cookie method. And then lastly, we're setting um, the Superbase client on the context and then just calling next on the middleware. So now how this works in our application. So we have our Hono application. Uh, we specify to use the Superbase middleware on every request. So what this means now in our route, you know, here, for example, when we're getting um, our user details, so get my user details is an API route here, API user. Um, what we can do is we can get our Superbase client. And so the great thing now is that this is an authenticated Superbase client because it's using the cookies. So we can see this as well. Now, if we're opening up our um, application and we're looking at the cookies here, we can see we have um, a Superbase cookie. Uh, so now if we were to delete those cookies and we refresh this, we can see that we're not locked in anymore. So this is um, cookie auth. Now when we're getting, you know, um, signing in again, now we're authenticated and that all works with the cookies. Um, okay. And so the way this works, we're just calling uh, superbase auth get user, and then we're just outputting you are locked in uh, and the user now sign out. And this is the great thing, you know, in our case here, we're actually signing in with the browser client. So you know, we're we have kind of a static uh, react application here using Hono JSX and the, the Vite dev um, server. So we're, you know, we can use the browser client with um, Superbase here, create browser client. And we can actually sign in here. Um, you can see we're signing in using Superbase auth sign in anonymously. So we're signing in on the client side, signed in on the client side. 
Um, but because we're using this browser client from the SSR package, we're going through the same cookie, um, you know, client side and server side. So um, this works across client and server side, which is really, really neat. Um, we also use the on auth state change um, client side JavaScript here. Um, but then, you know, for example, uh, again, if we go back, we can also then call the sign out method server side. Again, we're using here the server client, we're going through the same cookies. So that works, we're just calling superbase auth sign out. So now when we do this sign out, we're actually just going to the sign out method. And then we're signing out and then we're redirecting back and you can see now the cookie is gone. And then lastly, for our country's uh, API route, again, uh, we're just getting the Superbase client. And since this is an authenticated Superbase client, it follows the RLS rules. So when we're not logged in, we don't get any data back because we're not authenticated. But then if we're doing our um, anonymous login, we go, go to our API route. Now we're authenticated and we get our countries back. So, you know, you can use Superbase just the way you are used to. Um, there we have it. This is how easily you can get up and running with Hono and Superbase Auth and Superbase Database. Let us know if there's any other frameworks that you'd like to build with. And, you know, do tweet at us if you've built something cool with Hono and Superbase. And, you know, let us know. And until then, keep building cool stuff.